Hello, here I am, my first video of the 2019-2020 school year, and I have five eighth graders here to start it off and to kick off our weekly or bi-weekly YouTube videos that we put out. We usually call these the classroom connection video of the week. So hello, how's everybody doing? Great. How's eighth grade? It's going okay, well it's, so far. It's so interesting. Talk to us about transitioning from seventh grade into eighth grade or coming out of summer or anything that's good that has happened already, anything that maybe is less than good. What do you want to talk about? I think that seventh grade is easier, harder than eighth grade, like based on how much work yeah. you get. Because, <laughs> you know, we don't have that much work. So eighth grade is easier than seventh grade? Well, in terms of like what you have to do at home and like how much you have to study and stuff, they go for a lot in class, so it's pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> and our uh, teachers were like, in seventh grade, they're not going to use Google Classroom at all in eighth grade. You have to take notes on your own. Yeah, I do take notes on my own, but they also give us like study guides and stuff. And they said like, you're never getting a study guide in eighth grade, and I've already got like study guides. So. Mm -hmm. They don't give a lot of homework. They, it's like three sheets maybe. Yeah, so that's like you just have to study for stuff. You're not really yeah. handed out homework. I just shifted from India. And that's fun. So all my friends are like started. You get to bring your phone to school. You get a Chromebook because in India that's nothing. You have to study from a book, and they give you loads of homework. So that's fun. So so far it's been pretty good. Yeah. Are the people nice? Yeah. Some people are really nice to me, but some people are like very mean and they make. So is eighth grade, is there a lot of judgment that takes place in eighth grade? You said the classwork isn't so bad yet, but how's social life? Um, this is pretty similar. It's very yeah. cliquey, like, there's a lot there's of different cliques and you have to belong in one. <laughs> yeah, or else you're like, more. just a random <laughs> I have a person in the hallway. So yeah. The first thing is that at the first like three days, I didn't have a specific lunch table. I used to like move around a lot. Then I chose a lunch table but the person sitting in front of me is really messy. He like drops a Gatorade and then leaves and we have to clean it. So that's pretty bad. And I can't change my lunch table now because it's like official. So yeah, that's so that's pretty, tough. Yeah. Well, honestly, I feel like, um, like kind of sat at the same table I did last year. It was like the same kind of spot. I still have like the same group of friends, so yeah. So it helps having some similarities from seventh grade for the people that were here. Does it help having something similar like you had health class in seventh grade if you were here? Yeah. Does that help to have uh, a consistency in health class? Do you sit in the same spot or similar or did you move around no, in this room? I moved. I moved. Yeah. I moved. Yeah. Yeah. I think last yeah, year I sat in the same spot. Or um, like no, I'm just kidding. Can you talk about anything that we've done in health class that has stood out so far? Is there any lessons that you've liked or any topics that you want to talk about and tell everybody that we've covered that have been pretty cool? Yeah, yeah, that was, was really, that was really, really, really tricky, that was but really it was really nice. The Nakarema are this tribe, and they do like really extreme bodily procedures, I guess, to make themselves clean and like healthy. And so one of them is like they'll they have like different types of people. So like the holy mouth man who comes to clean like your mouth with different like varieties of potions and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's a different one where women they are expected to like I guess they go through like a procedure where they cut open their bodies and then there, there's like different, you know, like fillers. Yeah, <laughs> fillers yeah. that they place inside to change their overall structure. Yeah. So, so yeah, so it was really like different. Yeah, different. And yeah. the fact that you like identified it as something else, but you realized that it was just yourself. It was, yeah. it was kind of cool. Movie. We watched uh, like some, um, video clips and like a music video and I feel like those they really help like understand like stereotypes and other things more than just like reading out of a textbook. You can apply it to your actual life instead of just memorizing it and then just on the test just just spitting out the, the definition that you memorized and then forgetting it. So we did like this goal sheet and we had to write what goal we want to reach and it was like each day we had to write what we did towards the goal and how it helped us towards the goal. And my goal personally is like five years or six years away because I want to get into the University of Chicago. Mm -hmm. 
so that's why my goal was like i did extra math i slept well because it will help me in my sat and pre sat and pre sat is very close it's like next month i like the goal i did finish my goal early though so Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> nice and so i got to do a <laughs> I got to do another goal, um, and now, and it's like a couple months away. It's uh, America Got Talent auditions. Nice. Whoa! Oh my yeah. God. Because <laughs> I'm doing the video audition. Then if I pass that, then I'm doing the actual show. But that's please not mention my main us. Goal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Forget us, little people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, today in class, we took bean bags. Each one of us had a bean bag. And it was, we were like passing through grades, and we got to fifth grade. So like first grade was easy; you just held it in your hand, and then second grade you just threw it up in the air. And um, third grade we had to like throw it in a bin, but we could like we didn't even have to be in our seat or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, so there were like multiple bins around the room that we had to put it in. So eventually we figured out that we can all just like throw the bean bag in the air where, and just pass the bin around when someone puts it in the bin. And so we did that and it finally worked out. We passed fifth grade. So yeah. only three yeah, years so left. Hard. <laughs> so I added just different challenges on the initial goal um, to help with our goal setting assignment, to look at social health, to talk about communication as a skill. Um, we checked out video clips. Does all of this seem to help instead of just sitting and getting? Do you like being up and active? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. definitely. All right, that's it for this week. I want to thank my five eighth graders for starting us off in this school year, 2019, 2020. Stay tuned. We'll have more students in, more topics. Uh, until next time, bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye, -bye. <laughs>